Hi, right, Phil Lindsay here with Pete Magazine, and we're here with Jamie Bates at the Marriott Hotel as we covered an interview at the start of the year where you were looking at maybe getting some amateur fights and turning pro, but it's getting towards just jumping into the pro scene it's now, isn't it? Basically, we've just decided just to turn professional now. Um, the amateur stuff was taking too long to sort out, etc. There was stuff going on. So now we're just going to go pro, aiming hopefully for the end of the year. Yeah. If not, start 2016. So would that be the Phil Jeffrey show that made rating medals in November? Yeah, whatever Ideally. whatever Mark has in mind for yeah. us is basically what I'll end up fighting on. And so for those who don't know you, you've had a you've you've been kickboxing since Yeah. About my age? first fight when I was eight. Um, I turned professional when I was nineteen, eighteen, nineteen year old. I've had well over hundred fights. Um, seventeen year span of fighting. Yeah. And now I've reached the highest level of my career yeah. I can reach at the minute. I need a new challenge. Um, in boxing, I'm, a, I'm at the right age, I'm fit, I'm healthy, uh, I'm hungry for it as well. So, Well, you've spent about a year now in, in Mark yeah. Clausel's gym, with, obviously with Joe and with Mark and things. So yeah. you've already been going within the boxing setup anyway. So, and part of the kickboxing. The boxing's in the name of the title anyway. Obviously, yeah. you, have, you have to watch out for kicks and things like that, but it is prominently boxing yeah. anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I had tools before, which have been changed. Giuseppe's changed a lot of the stuff I, I was doing. It wasn't necessarily wrong. It wasn't suited for boxing. Yeah. In a year, I can see how much I've improved in that without training for a fight. Um, I've had a handful of sparring sessions. I feel fairly comfortable with what I'm doing. I don't feel out of place as such. Yeah. My body's adapting to the training because I am training very hard. But I, I feel good. I feel good. I'm ready. I'm just, I, I would take a fight in a few weeks' time, you know what I mean? That's the mentality yeah. where I'm at the minute. But, um, but obviously, the more sparring I get in, the coaches see where I'm going right, where I'm going wrong, take the baby steps first yeah. and progress. I think you've got one, one last kickboxing fight before. The Pretty infinity. much, yeah. yeah. It'll probably be my last kickboxing fight. It's unfinished business. Yeah. Um, I was in the Tatnef Cup in Russia, which is one of the biggest kickboxing tournaments yeah. in the world. The first round, I beat the previous year's champion. Um, nobody expected us to do that. I probably went over as cannon fodder. Yeah. I beat him comfortably. And I get in the next round with a kid from Belarus. Um, I won the fight. Hands down. I thought the judges didn't think so, but Everybody I've spoken to thinks I've won the fight. Yeah. So, but I've got him back in four weeks' time in Romania. Get him out the way with, and that's me. That's pretty much me, too. Yeah, so, so what, what were your biggest achievements that, you, that you'd say you'd had? Because obviously, it's, it's, when you've had that many fights and you've fought all over the world and things, from the, obviously with the, from the boxing fans won't know as much about the kickboxing no. world. So what would you, what would you say that, that the highlights of your career um, so far? The highlights, I've won the professional world title in Air Force Contact Kickboxing. Um, K1 rules, I mean, people won't associate with that, but that's a traditional in your shorts, leg kicks, knees, stuff yeah. like that. I won the Super Combat World Grand Prix in 2014. Um, it's the biggest show in Europe by far, and I won that in a four man tournament. Um, the Tatnef Cup, uh, I've, reached, I've reached a good stage of my career fighting in big stadiums. I'm in demand, I've always getting fight offers to fight here and there around the world my last five or six fights have all been abroad so uh, I've done well I've done well with the career and what are you is it 20, 25 now I'm just turned 26 just turned 26 so yeah. still a young pup I'm still young but I'm clever I'm sensible I know how to train my body so I'm not going to end up injured or stuff like that obviously you do get injured but I know how to look after myself so I don't really think I'm going to peak too soon or anything like that. People say you peak yeah. about 28 year old and stuff like that, but I, I'm an intelligent fighter, so. But you're going to be boxing a is it light heavyweight? Light heavy, yeah. So obviously with, with a, a bigger lad like yourself, if you find your peak tends to be a little bit late, yeah. maybe the, 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 the bantamweights, the welterweights might peak maybe his late 20s, light heavy up to heavyweights, you, you're coming into your peak at 28, 29 really, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I, I'm not too worried about your head going into the fighting. Like I say, I'm clever, I'm intelligent, I train around how I have to. I've got a good team behind us, it's straightforward for us from there. I think within the within your setup as well, having Mark Clausel there, who was obviously a professional boxer, but he did a lot of kickboxing and had success with that before he turned. Yeah. So in terms of the transitional aspect of it, 
it's good to have him there as well as obviously a, a, yeah. such a knowledgeable coach like Joe. Yeah, they can they can relate to where I'm coming from as well. And my dad, who's always been my coach as well, um, he was a boxer, so he's helped us with the transition as well. And there's good lads in the gym to learn from. You know, you sign Harry, um, Bazzi. I can just learn from everybody. You know, the experience is invaluable. Now going over to the to the boxing after achieving everything that you have achieved within the kickboxing, and doing it at the age that you're doing it now, so your time is on your side. Really, it's not like you're going to have to hurry things. I've got 12 months to, to rush this in. What are your ambitions and what I'm you're not, looking to do in boxing? Like I'm not here just to be a participant, to be a card filler, to take part. You know, I want to be. I, I'm not too bothered about the fame and the name and all the rest of it. I just enjoy fighting, but I'm not going to fight a level. And just stay at a level. I want to be a good progress. level fighter, and like I say, who knows where it's going to take us? Baby steps first, and then we'll progress and see where we go from there. But to be honest, I'm looking at the scene. I'm I'm not afraid of anybody. You know, I thought I've, I've been fighting world level for the past five six years. I get in there, get stuck in. And what's it going to be like going there in the ring on fight night, and not having somebody kick you in the legs? It's uh, <laughs> you, you can walk out the fight and walk around for the next two weeks. I'm not going to get kneed in the face, so my defensive yeah. capabilities is going to be a lot better. Um, I don't know, like my movement and stuff's going to change. It's going to be different. I'm a different style of fighter. What people's going to be used to anyway from my kickboxing side. But yeah. I think from the boxing, people are like my style. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you in there. So hopefully, maybe towards the end of hopefully the year, early 2016. Yeah, yeah. Watch out for this man, Jimmy yeah, Bates. Watch out. He's coming Light heavyweight division. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Top quality, man. Cheers. Thank you.